What will happen if the J-50 is sorted? I rely on it. The J-50. Can't wait to make up the picture of the J-50. Sword play before it has convinced the netizens. Since you all think so, then Brother Zhong will follow your wishes. If the J-50 really becomes a carrier-based aircraft, it may bring significant changes in the following aspects. First, the J-50. As a sixth-generation fighter, far surpasses the existing five aircraft in terms of stealth capability, maneuverability, high altitude and high speed performance, and strike distance. If the warrior succeeds in launching an arrow, it means that the carrier-based aircraft force of the Chinese aircraft carrier may establish an advantage in the barbed. Second, the subversive naval and air combat mode. The J-50 may not only be a fighter, but also a strong air command and combat node. Third, manned aircraft and drones cooperate in combat. According to network analysis, the J-50 may have the ability to command multiple medium-range wingmen or drones for coordinated operations. The drone can dive out to perform reconnaissance, jamming, and even attack missions, while the J-50 conducts command from a relatively safe rear. This will greatly expand the combat radius and nuclear strike effectiveness. Fourth, the ultra-long strike radius forms a safe zone. Some analysts believe that the combat radius of the J-50 may be very considerable, reaching 2,500 kilometers. With its powerful weapon system, it can launch attacks outside the effective strike range of enemy active carrier aircraft, thus providing a layer of firepower for the aircraft carrier battle group. The combination of the electromagnetic catapult system equipped by the Fujian ship and the J-50 is considered to be the key, more efficient ejection of heavier and more diverse aircraft, including future drones, allows the full combat power of the J-50 to be fully realized.